Bridge! What's up guys, my name is Nate, or Reign of Terror, and I'm bringing you a Moab gameplay on Village to offer some tips on getting the elusive mother of all bombs. In all honesty, this commentary and stuff is a pain in the ass, so I'm pretty much just going to wing it, so don't fucking laugh at me, you bitches. Uh, for the class, I'm using an ACR and a red dot sight with a silencer. I run slide of hand, quick draw, and steady aim with a specialist kill streak using assassin, recon, and hardline. I use assassin first because it's pretty important to stay off their radar even though I have a silencer if they get a UAV I'd rather not be seen uh, Recon Pro is a great perk especially if I shoot someone and don't know where they might be Recon lets me know and Hardline is my final perk I use it to get specialists quicker so I can have all the perks at once quicker my first tip is to be cautious, always have some cover around you. This makes you a harder target for the enemy and it gives you a greater chance to kill. Don't risk your life for the objective, you need to be selfish and know what your goal is. You're trying to get a Moab here. No tag is worth losing a 10 or 15 kill streak. You need to use the dog tags to your advantage. This also applies for things like domination, the longer game modes, TDM you're not going to get a Moab very often unless you're fucking Connor. But use these dog tags to your advantage. Know where you killed an enemy and then recognize when the dog tag is denied. This will alert you to the enemy's position automatically giving you the advantage. Uh, my next tip is to know the spawn points. Use your radar to know where the teammate, your teammates are and better yet where the enemy will most likely spawn. You need to negotiate the map responsibly and stay away from the middle and high traffic areas. Stick to the outskirts of the map and don't leave yourself exposed for more than a few seconds of time. Pretty self-explanatory. Give the enemy less of an ability to kill you. Make sure when you're navigating the corners to aim down the sights and walk or crouch. You have no idea what's on the other side. No idea what enemies might be waiting there looking for you and it gives you the best possible chance of winning against enemy against them especially when you're sprinting it takes longer for you to pull up your gun and fire so obviously that's why you need to walk around corners uh... don't sprint in buildings um, if you're gonna sprint sprint out in the open or sprint to cover uh... if you're afraid you might lose a gunfight run away but make sure that the enemy isn't following you and then constantly check your surroundings there might be a bush someone's hiding in there might be you know anything noobs will use anything to their advantage so you have to be aware of that and also Modern Warfare 3's revenge spawning can be a curse when attempting to get a Moab I know it's been a pain in my ass I've gotten a few Moabs and I got lucky that the kill before I got the Moab, I got shot in the back with a shotgun right after I get the Moab. That's one thing about getting Moabs, you have to be really lucky. There's a few points in this gameplay where people walk and stare right at me and turn around. I just get so lucky. Like right here, he sees me and runs away for some reason, so I take advantage of that. I'm checking the surroundings. I make sure that the rock is clear, I know that nobody's behind me, I'm looking at the radar and I'm running up here because I know exactly where they're spawning. They're going to be in the cave, they're going to be at the wall because I'm getting callouts. Use the team to your advantage. If they're running specialist or, you know, assault kill streaks, use that to your advantage. Know where the enemy is going to spawn again. I'm getting pretty close to the Moab right now, but I'm running out of ammo. Marksman, if you use it as a first part not even with specialist it's great I mean you just saw where I'm aiming and even in the peripheral not just down the sights I'm you know getting those people with assassin right off the bat and there we go I got my Moab going all crazy don't know what to do I want my gun because I got scavenger and don't even think about it and so I figure well what the fuck I'll just go jump off this rock oh there's that guy kill him about ten times he was the dude with the sand turret 
And then once you get the Moab, just have some fucking fun. Jesus Christ, you just got a 25 kill streak with specialists is 24 with however, with however many assists you got. Have some fucking fun. Oh, a few little tips about the Moab. Not only does it kill the entire enemy team, it also EMPs them, and it gives you double XP, as you can see, for the remainder of the round. Uh, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching this 37 and 7 game.